All right, so it's Christian, the Work From Anywhere guy, back today. Today we're talking about four ways that you can create your passive income sources this year. And what I'm talking about specifically is how to find that idea, because we talked about before how digital assets are what will give you passive income. So in the real world, we have real estate and we can rent that real estate out and we get paid rent checks every single month. Now that requires building a house or buying a house and that requires lots of money. But if we take that to the internet, that concept of creating what's called an asset, which is something we own, that throws off cash flow, then we can do it for so much cheaper. So today, no matter where you're starting, whether you're already middle of your career or you're just getting started, here's four ways you can find your passive income idea this year. Idea number one is solving a problem you already have. So back around 2012 or 2013, I looked in my wallet and I had about 27 different credit cards, insurance cards, IDs, passport, all these things. Now I hate having bulky stuff in my pockets. And so I thought to myself, what if there's a way to have this all on my phone so I didn't have to leave home without it, but I could take it with me and not have stuff in my pockets and I couldn't lose it and it's backed up. And if I travel to another country and all my stuff gets stolen, I can just log in on my computer and see everything I need to see. Now at the time, nothing really existed out there to provide the solution for me. So I thought, what if I created an asset that took care of this problem? And I went out there and I paid somebody $1,800 in India to code this app for me called Wallet Plus. We released that on the iPhone store. And soon after that, it was in the top 10 finance apps in the app store, Wallet Plus. That was my first taste of digital assets. And I learned that if I just solve problems in my own life and create a solution for that, then probably other people want that solution too. So while I created the solution for myself, I can just license that out to people over and over again. So the first way to find out your passive income idea for this year is think of what problems you have in your life that you'd like solved. Take out a piece of paper and a pen, write down what you're annoyed by, what bothers you, what processes are tedious, and try to think if you could create a passive income solution to that. Something you create once, you can give it out over and over again to people and they'll pay you money. So number one, what problems do you have in your life? The number two way to create passive income is think about what you do in your free time. So this screenshot right here, that is 700 something dollars from a course that I sell on snowboarding. You can see that's in one day, it's a normal day, we didn't do a launch or anything. Here's another one, over 700 again. So snowboarding is something I like to do as a hobby in my free time. I'm not a certified instructor, I didn't go to school for this, nothing like that. I just said, you know what, I like to do this, I've learned some things along the way, I've been doing it a while, why don't I help other people do that too? Now, when I first started selling my snowboard course, I thought people would wanna learn advanced techniques. And so I spent months and months creating these instructional videos on advanced tricks on the snowboard, how to hit jumps, how to hit rails, things like that. And what I found out is that 80 or 90% of the market needs to learn snowboarding from day one. So we went out there and we created a beginner product. It took us one day to create. And we taught people, you know, this is a snowboard. This is how you strap in. This is what the base of the ski area looks like. Here's how you ride the lift. Here's how you go down the mountain for the first time. And that actually sold better than the advanced product. So if you're thinking, yeah, I have hobbies, but I'm not like a pro with them or anything. You have to remember that most of the market is beginners. And so you can sell a solution to absolute beginners just by being an intermediate at whatever you do in your free time. So idea number two is create a digital asset. It could be a coaching program or it could be a course around something you do in your free time and just help beginners get started. Remember that we're gonna focus on beginners. That way you don't have to be a pro and we can create the simplest possible solution to their problem. So instead of spending months like I did creating the advanced solution, you can spend one day creating the beginner solution. The number three way to figure out how to create your passive income, your digital asset this year, so you can become what I call a digital landlord is whatever you do at work. So I was in getting my hair cut the other day. As you can see, I got a fresh cut. And I was talking to my hairdresser about work and income, and she owns this hair salon, this business, and she has to deal with employees and rent and all this stuff. And I said, have you ever just thought about teaching people how to start their own hair salon? Because she's been through the ringer on the business side of things. She knows how to find the right building, how to do the marketing, how to bring in other stylists and rent space from her. She knows how to do all of this. And so she just turns that into a blueprint, basically a clone, her operating manual, and she just sells that blueprint over and over again. 
She can scale that to the moon. That's unlimited income. So that's the asset she creates. She rents it out, could be a coaching program or a course, and she's just cloning what she already does at work. So no matter what you do at work, chances are you could help somebody either get started in that career. So I've seen developers and coders sell courses on not how to code, but how to get a job in coding. Or I have a friend who has a very successful company teaching people how to get a job in management consulting. So you don't actually have to teach them the thing that they're gonna do. You can just teach them how to get started doing what you do. So pretty much no matter what job you have, if it's desirable in any way, you could start a course, create a digital asset, teaching people either the skills you need for that job or more importantly, the strategy to get into that field. So that's number three, what you do at work. Number three way to create your digital asset and make passive income this year is just clone yourself. Whatever you do at work every single day, teach people how to do the same thing. And the number four way to create your digital asset this year, if you don't think you have any special skills, you don't have any problems in your life that you want solved, you know, you don't have any hobbies that you do in your free time, even though I think all of us have one of those three, then you can actually make money just referring tools that you already use in your life. And so I'm a business owner, I don't know if you are yet, but if you look at your business, you probably use software and tools and things like that, maybe even courses. And we can use what's called an affiliate program where we get paid half the commission to just refer that tool out. So this is going to have an upside and a downside. The upside is you don't have to create your own asset here. Somebody has already created the asset. Uh, the downside is you're gonna make a little less, right? You might make 50%. But think about it this way. In real life with assets, a leasing agent on a property, you know, a property manager might make 10%. If it's short-term rentals, they might make 30%, right? So that's taking somebody else's asset, renting it out and getting paid for it. Now on the internet, not only do you not have to manage tenants in the property and everything, but you can take somebody else's asset and you can rent that out for 50% or 40%. So go find the tools, the software that you're using. And if you just start referring that out, you can start getting a cut, just like a leasing agent gets a cut or a property manager gets a cut in the real world for renting out assets. So one of my favorites is ClickFunnels. If you wanna check that out, there's a link below here. That's 40 or 50%. And again, this requires publishing. So usually if you already have an audience or you wanna create one, or you post on Instagram or YouTube all the time, this is a great way to have digital assets and become a digital landlord without actually creating that asset yourself. So those are the four ways to become a digital landlord and create passive income for yourself this year. I think, you know, no matter who you are and what your life situation is, you can do one of those four. Now, something I like to do is a little exercise to figure out, okay, how can you replace your income with passive income so that you can quit your job forever? Now, all you have to do here is take your required monthly income, which in the United States is about 5K a month for somebody with a bachelor's degree is what they make. If you have a master's, the average is around eight or 9K a month. Just take that amount and divide it by the value of that asset that you're gonna be selling. So in, in number one, I was selling iPhone apps. So I sold that for $1.99. So I'd have to divide 5K a month by $1.99. And I'd have to figure out, okay, I need about 2,500 customers a month to be free. So that's gonna be my target for passive income from that asset. I want that asset to create 2,500 customers a month, not me by working. Uh, number two, the snowboarding thing, we sell that for you know anywhere between 20 bucks a month all the way up to a lifetime play in at $200. So again, I would just divide it and you can see I mean much fewer customers with that to hit my target income, to make passive income and quit my job. Uh, number three, I sell what I do at work. Usually you can sell what you do at work for a lot more than what you do for a hobby. And so the price point on that's gonna be much higher. So I'm gonna need much fewer customers selling what I do at work than my hobby to hit that target income. And then the last one is the affiliate revenue. The cool thing about this is it can be recurring every single month, but again, that's gonna be usually a lower price point depending on what you're selling. We're just gonna take our target income, divide it by the cost of that product or cut, and that's gonna give us our target customers per month. Now, if we can hit that target customer per month, we're free, we're done with the job, okay? We have our assets producing for us and we spend our time actually building more assets. That is the digital landlord way create the assets, the assets bring in the money, you spend your time building more assets. So over time you have more and more assets that create more and more money. So it's not that you're not working, we just call that passive income because so you, you've already done the work, you've already created the asset and you spend your time building more assets 
and that's how you get a really, really high income over time. Now, if you're wondering, how do you become a millionaire? How do you make a million dollars? Just take the million dollars and divide it by what you sell that asset for, right? So if you sell your asset for $1,000, then we're gonna need about 1,000 customers to make a million dollars. So do the digital asset math right there. Figure out what do you need to do to replace your income and what do you need to do to make a million dollars. Figure out which of those four ideas you're gonna to use to create your passive income this year. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about how to grow out, go out there and actually get your customers to pay for building that asset. So if you think about buying a house, how could you get the tenants to actually pay for that house so you don't have to spend any of your own cash on it? We're gonna do that, but for digital assets, so don't miss that next video. In order to do that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You'll get notified, hit notifications. Until then, it's Christian, the Work From Anywhere guy. Throw in the comments, one through four, which one of these ideas are you gonna use this year? I'd love to hear it. I'll read all the comments, respond to you. See you on the next one.